All right, I'm here at Jawsons MMA with Jomar. All right, so Woo! <laughs> so um, I just fought last weekend, and I'm gonna show <clears throat> the submission that I uh, that I used to finish the fight. I'm gonna break down the step by step on how you're gonna go about uh, performing this technique and uh, the little tricks to make it tighter. <clears throat> so in my fight. I passed his, I passed his full guard, and I ended up in his half guard. He was pretty good uh, at retaining his guard. I couldn't pass. So what happened though was there was only about a minute and a half left, and he was trying to eat the clock. So he got the underhook deep, and he got his arm in between my legs, like he was going to go for deep half guard, which allows him to do some sweeps. It keeps my base jeopardized, and uh, it's pretty good defensive posture, offensive posture as well for sweeps and stuff in MMA or Jiu Jitsu. He kept his head super tight to my hip. So what ha what this does is in MMA, it stops me from hitting him. If I hit him here, I get penal I get penalized. And if I try and load up, I'm gonna either rock myself off balance to give him a sweep, or I'm just if I if I don't rock myself off balance, there's no power. So I had almost no attacks here. I landed a couple body shots, but I didn't have a lot of time. And this is this is just uh, um, this is not gonna do much damage to him. So I was uh, kind of. Getting a little stressed out here, so I, I decided to do a last just effort and go for a leg lock because I wanted to get a leg lock finish in MMA before. So first off, I have to underhook his leg with my, my with my lower arm. Boom, here. His head was super tight, so all I do is I keep it tight with my arm, with my hand behind his head, and I'm gonna use my, my upper leg that he has underhooked to step right around to his far leg. Boom. So I wanna make sure this is really tight to his hip slash behind his leg. My leg that's on this side, that's in between his legs already for the half guard, stays here and I'm gonna flex this. This is important because it prevents him from escaping. So I have the, my arms controlling his leg here. This arm, I dive and I roll my shoulder onto the mat. As I roll, I keep this leg flexing here. Why? Because if I don't have this, he can turn and then I lose my angle for the knee bar. He'll be able to get to a 50-50 position and it's more 50-50. So by me keeping this, it prevents him from rolling the way he wants to. If he rolls onto his knee, he's making it tighter for me, which is what ended up happening in my fight. So first off, you have two options here of attack. If he straightens his leg, I can finish the knee bar by holding his, holding his heel, holding his, his Achilles, flexing my, my legs tight, and I lift my hips forward for the tap. Or if you want to get really tight, I put it under my armpit, and then I reef it back. If he bends his leg before I have the chance, if he starts to bend it out of the hamstring, grab the blade of his foot with my hand, circle my, my forearm underneath his, his uh, Achilles, grab onto my own wrist, and then I, I start bending forward, making sure my head is tight to his hip, or I mean tight to his ankle for the toe hold. So you have two options there. So one more time, the whole thing from the start. So he got. He had half guard, good posture, I can't land strikes. I underhook, keep control of his head at the back of the neck, step my leg up, and then I'm gonna quickly pass it right over. Boom. Fall to my side, flex my legs, pinching my knees, finish by either grabbing the, the Achilles with my hand, like the heel, so he can't turn his leg, and lifting, which is what I finish with, or you can underhook, or yeah, you can underhook his leg, or overhook his leg, and then you lift your hips that way. For the toe hold finish, grab right near his pinky toe at the blade of the foot, nice strong grip. Bring this one behind his Achilles to grab my wrist. Crunch myself forward to bend his knee. I want to bend his knee. If I try and do this here, it's not going to work. I don't have the power. I crunch myself forward to bend his knee, and then from here, all my pressure is right on his outer ankle slash foot, and this will do serious damage. I keep my head tight. Finish by just, all I do is this, and I crunch forward and I go down to finish the move. 